Welcome back to part three of how to build a shoot blocker. So in part one, I built the shoot blocker. In part two, I built a handle, but it was out of a broom handle. And really after one season, it wasn't really up to par to last a whole nother season. So I wanted to make one a little bit better. I saw this design on a Facebook post on the Facebook page for Ferris mowers. Thought it looked pretty good. And I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. See if I can make it. Let's get building. The first part we'll build is the pole that will attach to the mower and hold the handle. First we gotta cut it to length, and then next we just need to get all that gunk off of it that comes with the steel whenever you purchase it. Next, we just need to drill two holes at the bottom of the pole. This will be used so we can attach it to the mower itself. After that, let's just build a 90 degree bracket that will also attach to the bottom. To do this, we'll just take a piece of flat steel, cut a piece of it, and then weld it together at a 90 degree angle. Right, that looks good. Now it's ready to be welded to the bottom of the pole. This next part is definitely the most difficult part of the project. We need to make the handle assembly and all the parts that go along with it. This is gonna have a handle and then it's gonna have a quarter round shape that's gonna have some holes in it that you'll be able to lock the handle into. Let's get this quarter round shape cut out and then let's get some holes drilled into it. You'll see here that I had to use a hand drill for a little bit. I worked on this project for several months, just here and there found that the drill was very difficult to use to drill through this pretty thick steel. I eventually got a drill press and man, does it make a difference. Check it out. With this drill press, I was able to drill a hole in like 13 seconds in this super thick steel. Without the drill press, it was taking me about a minute to do, and it was wearing my arm out. I love this thing. Okay, now we're ready to cut out the handle. This is kind of a weird shape, so it's a little difficult to cut out with this angle grinder. It took a long time, but eventually I got it just right. Now you'll notice, Later on in the project, I kind of changed the design of it a little bit to make it fit better with all the stuff that we have to attach to it. After drilling a few holes, here's where I realized I needed to change the design a little. I cut this little bottom part off because it wasn't necessary and it was actually going to interfere whenever opening and closing the chute opener. Okay, now let's weld on this little metal nub. This will actually allow it to lock into place whenever we use it. Looks like that's going to work perfect. Now it's time to attach it to the pole. Okay. 
Now I can pre-assemble it just to make sure everything fits properly. A handle, a spring, and a nut. And then we should be good to go. Perfect, look at it, that's awesome. Now I just need to simply use a die to thread this rod on both sides so I can attach these little pieces that will allow it to pivot whenever opening and closing the chute. Now that we've got the proper length, let's go ahead and get this cut. After we get this cut, we're gonna have to thread this side too. One thing I learned during this project is whenever you wanna use a die to thread a rod, you need to taper the end just a little bit so the die will fit on there. I have this little tiny bench grinder that I just wanted to try. Turns out it's not the best. All right, let's go ahead and get this threaded. The tap and die set that I'm using came from Harbor Freight. It's nothing too special, but it's perfect for somebody like me who just occasionally needs to do some thread work. part I wasn't too excited about. I really didn't want to have to drill any holes in my mower, but this one hole is all I have to drill and it's not on a part that is crucial. It's just a little angle bracket, so no big deal. Now let's go ahead and clean this up with a little bit of black paint. It always amazes me when I do these projects, what a little bit of paint will do. Really cleans it up, makes it look professional. I did two coats of paint on this project. I think that'll be enough. If not, it's just simple fusion black paint. Shouldn't be a problem at all to get another can. Now to make the handle a little grippy. I've never used Plasti Dip before and I was actually really impressed with how easy this stuff is to use. It really smells, it kind of smells like one of those big black magic markers that you used to get back whenever you had to make signs for garage sales. I wound up dipping this about five times. Each time you have to wait about 30 minutes for it to dry enough to dip it again. And then after that, you don't really want to touch it for about four hours. It's pretty easy. really like how this Plasti Dip turned out. Looks really nice and it's comfortable to hold on to. Okay, now we're ready to assemble this for its final assembly. We'll use some Loctite on all the nuts that we have, that way they don't rattle loose whenever we're mowing. To cover up the hole where the pole actually is at the top, I just bought this little rubber cap that will go right into place. Makes it look really clean and professional. Okay, now we're ready to assemble everything on the mower itself. Since we have all the holes drilled and we have all the parts and they just go back together the way that they came off, this is really simple to do. It's just a few nuts and bolts and then you'll be ready to go. We are so close to finishing. Now to attach the rod to the handle 
and then down to the chute. Once we get this done, we'll be ready to use it. Wow, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. It just feels really nice, it's really sturdy, and it just looks good. I can't believe it. This just goes to show, if you just put your mind to it, you can do just about anything you want. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends. And as always, get out there, bike, run, and just have fun.